One of the biggest questions that new EV potential buyers and new EV owners, Tesla owners, have is how long does it take to charge? I like the 15-minute test because that's basically how long people have or expect uh, to stay at a, a charger based on their gasoline car experiences. Uh, most people don't stay beyond 15 minutes after getting snacks and going to the bathroom and stretching their legs and all that stuff. So the 15 minute mark is my benchmark. Nothing too scientific about it, except the fact that I did properly precondition the battery. It is optimized. We're gonna see good speeds. So we're gonna see exactly how much this 2022 Tesla Model Y performance can charge, how much battery it can get in a 15 minute period so uh, let's see, this is exciting stuff. I know, thrilling, thrilling. <laughs> Nothing too scientific about this particular video, just kind of simulating what it would be like on a road trip and arriving at about 22% state of charge on this 2022 Tesla Model Y performance. Holy moly, that is one purple car right there. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. I like it. So we're going to roll in. 15 minutes is the, the allotted time for this particular test. Nothing, like I said, scientific. I just want to roll into a uh, V3 supercharger at 22% state of charge. Stay for 15 minutes and see exactly how much uh, we get in a 15 minute, minute period charging on a V3 supercharger. Because one of the biggest questions that people have when uh, looking at electric cars or debunking electric cars is how long does it take to charge? So, what's that? It's not working. None of them? It's not working. Oh, this one. Yeah. I'll move over. All right, I was told that that one doesn't work. We're gonna move over. So we will move to this location and Plug her in. So 15 minutes on the clock. Uh, it does look like it's not working, but thank you. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, 15 minutes on the clock. We're at 11.01. I'll uh, get the time uh, at the time of plug-in. 22% state of charge. I kind of wanted to get it down to 20%, but uh, I failed miserably on that. So let's get it plugged in. All right, here we go. Yeah, that one doesn't look like it's working. We will get this guy going. So thank you so much for the heads up. Nice logo. All right, we are plugging in right now at 11.02 a.m., probably almost 11.03 a.m. And I can hear it cooling, ramping up. There we go. Look at, check that out. 195, 225, 242, 251. We definitely have optimized the battery. We have warmed it up properly by preconditioning beforehand a bunch. Uh, this car is technically only capable of 250, but we're seeing a little uh, little extra there, 252, 251. So that gives me confidence that uh, we definitely optimized and preconditioned properly. So we were at 11.02 a.m., and so we're going to go to 11.17 and 30 seconds or so. Again, not scientific with the whole uh, whole process here. I just want to see how it goes. And we're at about 20, we, well, we rolled in about 22% state of charge. We're already at 26. You can just see how fast this thing is going already. It's ramping down a little bit, but between 250 and 217, not too bad. Now it says 25 minutes remaining. That is until the 80% mark right there, but we're not gonna stay that long. Our mark here is 15 minutes and we'll see how it goes, see how much state of charge we get in that 15 minute period on a 250 V3 Tesla supercharger. Thank you so much for hitting the like button and the subscribe button, that would totally mean a lot. We now have a new join button, and if you do that, you'll get a fancy new sticker. For the first month, I'll give you a window sticker and you can put that on your uh, your Tesla. So uh, there you go, the join button is all new on the channel. So just a quick update with about 10 minutes ago, a little less maybe, uh, we are at 43% state of charge. Remember we started at 22% state of charge at 11.02 and change. So we're gonna go to 11.17 and change. 
I do remember that I didn't see it on camera though. We were at uh, 68 miles on the battery and 22% state of charge. We are still uh, raking it in here at a 127 kilowatt speed. Not too bad. We have added 17 kilowatt hours so far and we'll let it click over to uh, 1110, which means we'll be about seven and a half minutes away from uh, completing our 15 minute test. Uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way, pretty good temperature. It's not too hot, not too cold. Gave it a good amount of time driving around town, making sure it was uh, preconditioning the whole time. And uh, based on our, our initial speeds, our initial ramp up speeds were at uh, 252, I believe, out of the possible 250. So uh, Tesla's definitely these days getting a little bit overrated speeds which is nice to see. As we are coming up on our uh, 15 minute mark, 11.17 and change, I'll let it go a little past the 11.17 uh, point, but we're coming up on it. Uh, we have gone down to 87 kilowatts. If you can see over here on the left, see right there, 87 kilowatts is what we've uh, gone down to. We've added 29 kilowatt hours so far. Uh, if you notice over here, my session cost is zero dollars and i want to take this time to thank each and every one of you who used our tesla referral code to buy their shiny new tesla and because of that we've got a lot of uh supercharger miles that we're uh, we're using so thank you truly so much for using our code and uh, giving us all those uh, extra credits that we can use for uh, for other stuff okay we're at 11 17 that's the 15 minute mark we're going to go a little past and then we'll hit stop charging uh back to my thought i think i'm going to buy three months of free uh, full self-driving and start doing some videos on that. So let me know what you think about that. So there we go, 11.17, that's the 15 minute mark, 62% state of charge. We're gonna stop charging now, that is the 15 minute mark. So we went from 22 to 62, which uh, if, if memory serves is 40% in the 15 minutes that uh, we stayed here charging, which is not bad. So we went from 68 miles to 177 miles if you uh, like to use miles, I like to use both actually. There's some people that are like, oh, you gotta use percent only. And then there's others, oh, you gotta use miles only. And I'm not sure why they both sound the same, but uh, at any rate, I like using both. I, I use them both frequently, especially in road trips. I'll use um, miles up here and then the nav will give me percent anyway. So I kind of use a little bit of both. So there you go, 15 minutes on a Tesla supercharger uh, with an optimized battery. Oh yeah, we have to unplug it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not automatic. There we go. Good session. 15 minutes, 40% on a Tesla Model Y performance. And we went from, uh, like I said, 68 to 177 miles. Not too bad in a 15 minute span. There you go. That's our 15 minute test. I like to do these uh, once in a while just to freshen things up, see if things change and to uh, let you know what it's like uh, on a road trip to stop for 15 minutes with an optimized battery and just see how much charge you can get on different models. Next time, maybe I'll do my Model 3. This was my Model Y. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hitting the like button and the subscribe button. That would totally mean a lot. And those of you, like I said earlier, those of you that, that used our referral code to buy your Tesla, thank you so much. Those credits are being used. We're using it for tests like this. Uh, I, I mentioned I wanna uh, buy full self-drive for three months and, and run that through the paces. As many of you know, no, I am a full self-driving skeptic, <laughs> to say the least. So uh, it'd be very interesting to see how that goes. I, I have not ever even experienced it. So uh, that'll be some fresh videos uh, if I decide to go ahead and do that. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.